na. TV. Story times. Before my first trip abroad was in Singapore, and it was December actually. I book a ticket, and I have also a ticket returning back. And I have my passport ready, my itinerary ready, and also me being confident. Now what's missing there? Show money. That's right. I have no money to me that time. I only have only have five thousand pesos. I'll show you the conversion. That's that's really sad. In my bank account, because. The reason behind that is I have my Addy Cream. So, my Addy Cream, I was sponsored. I think she booked all my tickets from Singapore, going to, to a Universal Studio, or going to Malaysia, and then going back to Singapore, and then going back to Philippines. And I was like 21 years old during that time, and I was like a little bit tanga tanga. <laughs> I don't know what tanga tanga in English. O tanga tanga is like stupid stupid. <laughs> I, I said it twice also. Naive and I was a little bit of looking like confused. I am like really talkative, very energetic and I, I like wearing you know clothes that are a little bit revealing like mini skirts and maybe like this. So I just want to look cute to be honest. And then when I got there, when I was asked passport, hmm, tickets, hmm, I have my tickets. And then when I got asked accommodation, I'm like, oh, I'll be sponsored by this, 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 this. They raised their, their eyebrows already because are you sure you will be sponsored for your whole trip like Singapore, Malaysia, and then here? The last question was, Okay, then how much is your show money? You have sponsor when it comes to your food and this, this and that. At least you have your own money going to to Universal Studios or doing shopping or your transportation. And I'm like, well, I have 5,000 pesos. And I was like really, really proud of my 5,000 pesos because that's the only saving I made. I don't know why. And I didn't earn enough money during that time. And then after that, I got escorted already. And you know what's sad about getting escorted by an immigration officer is that you look like you committed a crime. I was in my little luggage and I was walking like a dog and I'm like, are we going? Like, I, I don't know what's happening to be honest during that time. All I know was I think it's getting serious. I got a lot of stares from all kinds of people they were like ooh she's gonna be interviewed and I didn't know what it was during that time so I sat on a chair and it wasn't even a private room that's one thing that I don't really appreciate back then in the Philippines because you get interviewed in front of of a lot of passengers around you lining up looking at you you know like you're dead like done done you're done but then in other countries you might be thinking so so it happened to you in another country too Tina clap 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 I think you harvested all the immigration officers in all country but no it happened to me in one of the countries that I traveled but that is only because of some visa questioning and so on and so forth but it was very fast like I think not even a minute I was sent off oh twice it happened to me twice also in Malaysia because I, I always go to Malaysia to do shopping instead in Singapore and then I didn't know that if you you go shopping in another country and bring it to Singapore like in Malaysia for example there will be taxes that you need to pay yeah so if you buy uh, an expensive bag uh, expensive shoes then they will tax you accordingly good thing I didn't buy so much I didn't have so much money anyway because it was my first time it was warning and all that shit okay going back to the Philippines immigration so they asked me like, okay, can you show me your SSS, your BIR, your this, this and that. And then I was like, why would I bring all those documents, my taxes and all the other things they're asking me, which is really not relevant if I'm going to be a tourist to another country. I think it took for about 30 minutes plus because I got there really early. Yeah, we're, we tend to be early when, when it's a flight. 
final decision after the long long interview they told me I'm sorry but you're not going out you're not going abroad and that's the final decision bye unless you have these documents six months after I applied again and I got out I don't think I will be going in details how I did that but yes, I, I got interviewed again. It was really stressful to be in that kind of situation and you don't want that to happen. So bring all the things that which are passport, confirm return ticket, visa if applicable, show money is very important, hotel, hostel or other bookings, accommodation bookings, the itinerary of course, just to be sure. And then your confidence. Your confidence is very important. Look at me. I was so scared like when back when I was 21 years old and I was like, <laughs> yeah. So as well, prepare yourself before you travel. I hope this video helps your questions. And if you have other questions related to traveling, then let me know because I think I'm already immune to all those problems. I experienced getting offloaded. I experienced not getting into an airplane because I needed a visa that was like going to India, like stopping by in India before we go to Brazil. I experienced that as well. I will try to create a video telling you those stories. For example, going outside what is Asia to be exact, Taiwan, going to Brazil, France, what are the experiences that I can share to you guys? Anything you want to ask? Coffee? Mm, no, nothing? Okay, then I'll end the video for today. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. I will be posting more often now to help other travelers in the world. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Mm -mm. Bye.